Resilience is knowing that you are the only one that has the power and the responsibility to pick yourself up. A magnificent evening everyone. The most anxiously awaited event is here. We are very delighted to welcome all the parents and guests on this virtual platform to the annual day celebration of Unison School, Nagul. We are extremely happy to announce that our institution has been serving the society by imparting education for a decade now. On this occasion, we would also like to thank all the parents and students for their cooperation and support. I would like to welcome once again all the parents, students and chief guests for gracing this occasion with their presence this evening. I know that you all are eagerly waiting for this show to begin. So am I. As today's theme is all about rising with resilience, the students have prepared a chain of amusing programs that will give you a glance of what is happening when all of us are confined within the four walls of our houses. Now, let us spectate our young ankle biters as they show us true devotion to Lord Ganesha in the holy dance form of Bharatnatyam. May Lord Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, bless all of us abundantly and may this program proceed smoothly. Let us give you a quick overview of the program following the dance performance by your tiny thoughts. A leader is one who is filled with energy, enthusiasm, dedication, focus and great excellence. And we are privileged to have a leader who is the embodiment of all these qualities. Yes, we at Unison School are proud of our principal, Mrs. Trashna Ma'am, who is highly passionate about educating children and taking the school to the next level of glory. A welcome speech by a principal ma'am. What's that? All of you are going to enjoy a plethora of programs that are all lined up for your visual treat. Hold your breath audience. The countdown starts. Let me tell you an interesting fact before we get started with our programs. This news is definitely a silver lining in the cloud. Times Now News says that COVID-19 vaccine is expected to be ready in the next few weeks. As soon as scientists give a green signal, vaccination will start in India. India will administer the vaccine in four stages. To healthcare workers, to corona warriors, to people above the age of 50, and to people below the age of 50 with comorbidities. With that note, I, Aditya and Acharya, take leave and will let you enjoy the program. Dimikita, 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 Dimik
सकत दिग्गट तुम दंगुतुम सकत दिग्गट तुम दंगुतुम कृतक दंगुतुम तक अधिक सकत दिग्गट तुम तक अधिक सकत दिग्गण तुम तक अधिक चण तिगण तुम धिमी किट धिमी किट ताल मृदंग धिमी किट धिमी किट ताल मृदंग दित्त धिमित किट तक तलंग तक थिक तक तिगण तित्त धिमित किट तक तलंग तक थिक तक तिगण तित्त धिमित धिमित किट तक थित्त धिमित धिमित किट तक दित्त धिमित धिमित किट तक तिगण 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 धिमी किट धिमी किट ताल मृदंग धिमी किट धिमी किट ताल मृदंग तुम्हाल धरी सुरगण धटी तुम से तोटी सुरगण धटी तुम से तोटी सुरगण धटी वंदे शिव गौरी गजन वंदे शिव गौरी गजन तंडव नृत्य करी गजन for the day members of the school management committee colleagues of my partner cbsc schools parent members of unison school dear children and teachers greetings for the occasion there are so many things that i'm still doing for the first time like addressing in the virtual world and at my age it feels strange but that is how life is i can't help remember my father for the many things that he used to say thank god for what you have count your blessings that brings positivity in life that teaches you to take on challenges that inspires you to learn new things in life and decides how fulfilling you're going to make your life for yourself little did i realize then i would really have to count my blessings daily in a situation like this where all odds seem to be against us and i'm talking on behalf of each one of you it is said that your first set of values are inculcated from your home and my father used to repeat often values are caught not taught we contemplated a lot before we decided to have the virtual annual day program the idea behind the decision to have the annual day was that it is one of the best forms of motivation to develop an intrinsic value system in children to develop morals that should come automatically from the heart and the school has the responsibility to spread the message of hope happiness and good cheer amongst all the stakeholders and that is how we arrived at the theme resilience it is one of the qualities that helps us to bounce back against all adversities as the program unfolds you will see the ideas that the students have teachers have put together what you need to do when you are faced with adversities how to take care of yourselves and how to support your fellow human beings keeping alive the spirit of togetherness is the need of the hour and that is what we are celebrating through our annual day program 
A word of appreciation, an act of thoughtfulness, a single gesture of support goes a long way in keeping the members of the teaching community striving for more by just the teaching community. It is a human requirement, a human desire that you get appreciated each time you do something so that when we are working together, the next generation is better prepared to take life head on because we are all working for that. Life presents itself to us in all kinds of shades. And the earlier we teach our children to handle all kinds of situations, the stronger the children will be. It is in the hands of adults, we the parents and teachers. We need to decide whether we want our next generation to live with the knowledge of preparedness or crumble under the pressure. Because children did not know how to handle stress as they were never taught. Stress is a reality and being stress-free is a quality that develops automatically with resilience. And we as adults owe it to our children that they are well equipped to face the future. While you promise yourself to be bolder and stronger, while the impact of pandemic changes the way the world is functioning forever, the school is also undergoing a lot of infrastructural changes. I urge parents and teachers and children also to come to school, have a look around, see the changes that are happening. I said teachers, because not everybody is coming to school on a regular basis. The building still exists. The upkeep and maintenance is still on. Regular sanitization is done to ensure the safety of the staff members who are in school regularly. The real people are still there working behind the virtual screen continuously, waiting for the children to return to school. It will be a wonderful sight to see all the 10th graders writing their pre-boards in school. Whether online classes or a program like this, it has to be put together with the team working together. For today, do sit back and enjoy from the comforts of your home. Though I am personally missing the school grounds, the buzz of activities, the chaotic madness that happens behind the curtains, the group photos and whatnot. I'm sure next year we'll be in school together for our next annual day. May God keep you all well, safe, healthy, and happy. Thank you. I would also take this opportunity to thank our chairman, our management members, and all the staff members who have been the source of inspiration for each other to keep ourselves motivated by talking to each other to ensure that our children are learning all the time ensuring that we get the support of parents by making changes as and when whatever requests have come from them. Thank you parents once again for all your cooperation. Thanks a lot. Respected Chairman Sir, Mr. Pratap Kantheti, our Director, Mrs. Sujini Kantheti, our Principal, Mrs. Rachna Bhattacharji, parents, colleagues, dear students and the entire UNICEF family. I welcome you all for the annual day function of UNICEF School Nagol. As we all know, these are different times and that's why a different annual day. This year has tested not only our grit and determination, but mainly our resilience. I feel the theme resilience for our annual day is very apt this academic year as it means the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. The word quickly is very important. The online classes have opened the world of opportunities to reimagine, rethink, relearn and embark on the new journey with resilience. The process of teaching and learning has changed, but the role of teacher remains the same. As a facilitator in the journey of learning, and as a catalyst in the chemistry of knowledge. The transition from offline to online transaction of knowledge was astounding, but it was not easy for everyone, teachers, students, parents. The digital transformation was not only about the innovation or technology, but it was a matter of culture, the way we operated. The teachers suddenly found themselves in the new zone 
where they had to teach online with new tools, techniques and technology. The biggest challenge for the teacher was to hold the attention of children in the virtual classes. Every day new challenges were faced and the solutions were also found. Our teachers started exploring innovative methods. They did action research, attended workshops and webinars to make their classes engaging and interesting in the online mode too. And that did take up a lot of time besides what seemed like two hours of online teaching. All school activities shifted to online mode. And the most appreciable thing was nothing stopped. Students also slowly learnt the new way of acquiring knowledge and we got support from parents too. We have been conducting online classes efficiently since March and still continue to do so, making changes off and on to ensure we are delivering the best. Having experienced the pandemic, some people might say that life is tough and difficult. Let us see life from a different perspective. Life is not difficult, it is unpredictable. We don't know what is going to happen the very next moment and this uncertainty leads to anxiety. So we make our lives complicated. We can make it easy by simply doing what needs to be done. It is easy to follow protocols, but is it done by everyone at all the times? We have a new system of teaching and learning. We just have to follow the system. The school has worked hard on shifting very fast to the online system so that the education does not suffer. The continuity in gaining knowledge does not get disrupted. It is also for the students and parents to take maximum advantage of the system, to do what best can be done in this kind of situation. But is everyone doing it? Here I will quote, every house a school, every parent a teacher, as COVID-19 impacts education. The parent's role has become even more crucial and challenging. Monitoring students at home is a skill that parents have no choice but to develop. Parenting is an art and a skill. Maintaining the engagement of children, particularly young secondary school students, is critical. We all recognize that keeping children healthy, happy and engaged for even a part of day constitutes a major win for parents under these conditions. Each age group struggles with the effect of COVID-19 on their lifestyle, learning or profession in different ways. But here we need to understand that a long period of disengagement or being completely isolated at home can result in escalation of multiple problems. Going to school is not only about learning academic subjects, but also about social relationships and peer-to-peer -peer interaction. It is about socializing and developing life skills, which is also the need of the hour because COVID will not stay forever. If we are not alert now, we will find a whole generation lacking a lot of skill sets. That is why it is important to stay connected with the school by any means necessary. If it is online, stay connected online. If it is offline, stay connected offline and participate in all school activities, both online and offline. For all students, this is also a time to develop socio-emotional skills and learn more about how to contribute to society as a citizen. The role of parents and family, which has always been extremely important, is critical in that task. Motivating children to attend classes and to help them to stay connected to a larger community that is school. Otherwise, not only studies, but the whole personality of the child can change from being friendly to a loner or from being social to a recluse. So attending classes, taking part in online competition, on campus school activities is a way of honing the skills and polishing the personality to become a responsible citizen and have a balanced and substantial life in the future. Since there has been a massive increase in the use of laptops and iPads, 
Parents must monitor the content their children are exposed to. Parents should involve children in household chores to give them some diversion and participation in physical activity. Social contact is very important for children. Youth that are connected to each other both physically and remotely are happier, less anxious and have more fun. Let us work together so that the impact of COVID-19 is minimum on the next generation. Thank you for your continued support and patience while we deal with the COVID-19 pandemic and its associated challenges. Greetings from Unison School. We, the students of class 10, Krishnasai, Jaikar, Pranati and Srinidhi are bringing to you the annual report for the year 2020-21. The report is exhaustive and shows the extent to which our school creates and provides platforms for both our academic achievements and personality development so that we make a mark for ourselves and lead a fulfilling life. That is the gift that our school looks for that we come back to our school and our teachers again and again and stand by their side and be the pillars of strength for them. So let us witness a wide spectrum of events that happened across the school and rainbow of activities which kept the students actively engaged. Unison's vision is to strive to be an educational institute of excellence which nurtures passionate, confident and happy individuals enabling them to explore innate abilities and be lifelong learners. Our mission is to ensure freedom to explore the world around them, enhance inquisitiveness which drives creativity, equip them to be independent and have faith in self. At Unicent, we believe that every child is unique. And finally, the heart of our system, ethics. It represents Unicent School's core values. E stands for empathy, for caring and healing. Empathy is the experience of understanding another person's condition from their perspective. T stands for teamwork, to be together with a culture of openness, even with diverse opinions. H stands for humility, to exhibit modesty in word and deed. I stands for integrity, to do the right thing even when no one is watching. C stands for courage, to use it as a tool to stand up for truth and your ethical principles. S stands for self-discipline, to put principles into practice as an everyday habit. It can be considered a type of selective training, creating new habits of thought, action and speech towards improving yourself and reaching goals. Achievements of Unisentience. We congratulate all our students who wrote All India Central Board of Secondary Education Class 10 Examination for the Academic Year 2019-2020 and wish them the best for their future endeavors. Congratulations to A. Poojita, Arshit Kumar, Srijita Chaudhary, N. Satvika, D. Nilambari, and Nitin Pujari for their meritorious results in class 10 CBSC board exam. M. Jaikar of class 10 got fifth position in the news bulletin anchor contest, which was conducted by NIE, Newspaper and Education, the Times of India newspaper edition for students. Unison students participated in SOF, International Olympiad Exams. The following results are for the academic year 2019-2020. Manas Bulani of Class 4A was awarded a merit certificate in International English Olympiad as well as International Maths Olympiad. Annavarapu Venkata Pranit of Class 5C, Pratibha Chabla of 7B, Vadapalli Chinmaya Pavani of 8B and N. Satvika of Class 10 won a merit certificate for securing zonal rank under 500. Susrita Mitra of Class 3B, G. Revaredi of Class 6A, Virada Ritika of 9A were rewarded with merit certificates for securing zonal rank under 1000. Unison School Nagol campus ranked 27th position in state level and 141st position in the national level in the survey conducted by Education World. Our beloved principal, Mrs. Rachana Bhattacharchi, was conferred upon SOF Most Proactive Principal in the City Award for the academic year 2019-2020. Participation outside the school. Our students got the opportunity to participate in the following competitions. 
Kids Dance Competition by Hyderabad Moms and My Play Day. SIF of Young Artist 2020, a talent competition. BRICS Math Online Competition 2020, conducted by CBSC. All India Poetry Competition by Rashtriya Kala Manoj. Online Slogan Writing Competition 2020 by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and the National Museum of Natural History. Sri Kalakshetra, National Level Online Art Competition by Artists Welfare Association, Tirupati. Madhuban Pratyogita 2 by Madhuban, a story writing competition. Atmanirbhar Bharat and Swachh Bharat, the essay writing competition by CBSC. Preliminary Round Yeses 12 and Junior Einstein Track 2020 by Suchitra Academy. Eraksha competition by CBSE was conducted as IHC for various levels under the headings of article writing, movie making, drawing. International Olympiad of Value System Health and Wellness by Zenic Olympiad. Zenic provided a material on children mental wellness and conducted an online test. H2O Water Project by USO was an online test where the videos given by USO were shown and later students attempted the test. Rastriya Ekta Divas was conducted offline in virtual classes and reports were submitted through the form given by them. Children's Day Contest Art Competition was conducted by New Saraswati House. For classes 1 and 2, the competition was Favorite Festival. For classes 3 to 8, it was Unity in Diversity. Students submitted the work online. Little Einstein Vignan Mela 2020 Inter-School Science Fest was conducted by Pallavi Model School. Akshara of Class 4 won second prize in which science models were exhibited. In Melange 2020, the Inter-School Literary and Cultural Fest, our students Srikar of Class 5 got second place in Rolit category. Virtual Talent Time 2020 Inter-School Literary Competition was conducted by Suchitra Academy in which N. Sanjana got third prize in Legend Speaks. Integration of Arts into Psychology and Education Integrating the Arts into other subjects like Science, Languages, Social and Math brings out the creative side of the students along with cognitive skills. Project work is an important part of our learning process in unison. The students of class 1 did ISA project on festivals and celebrations. Class 2 did ISA project on the theme, The Earth, Synonym of Life. Students of classes 3 and 4 did ISA project on natural resources. Classes 5 and 6 did ISA project on vagaries of nature. Class 7 did ISA project on role and status of women in society. Class 8 did project on our green friends crops. Classes 9 and 10 did ISA project on our government systems and the government systems in different parts of the world. Class 1 saw their own school virtually and were very excited to see their school through Google Earth. Class 1 went to Tembe Elephant Park, South Africa, Atlanta Zoo for Pandas and Grace Gorilla Forest. Classes 3 and 4 went to Rainwater Harvesting Theme Water Park at Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Class 5 students were taken on a virtual tour to Netherlands based on the theme Natural Disasters. Students of Class 6A and 6B had a virtual field trip to see the videos of natural disasters as it was a theme of their ISA project. Students themselves showed several places hit by natural disasters like storms in US, Tsunami in Japan, earthquakes in Nepal, and floods in India through Google Earth. The students of class 7A at Unicent went to Government Girls High School, Nagao, Assam, as a part of their ISA project based on the theme Gender Inequality. Class 7B students were taken on a virtual field trip based on the theme Role of Gender, which was conducted with an objective to familiarize students with most powerful women from different parts of the world. went on a field trip to an agricultural field as a part of their ISA project based on the theme Our Green Friends Crops. Classes 9 and 10 went to Parliament as a virtual field trip.
activity based learning for pre primary children the kids of kindergarten enjoy the play way fun filled activity based learning which was done online this year and all the activities were done with the same enthusiasm we celebrated various special days like color day fruits day vegetables day plants day janmashtami celebrations fancy dress show ganesha making activity rakhi making activities fruits day and vegetables day to create awareness in children about the environment and our traditions and culture teachers are also learners our teachers constantly strive to stay updated by attending workshops and various training programs they found innovative ways of engaging students and made learning more fruitful in online mode too they are conducting online classes efficiently since march and still continue to do so with action research training and learning few of them are as follows national education policy 2020 school education experiential learning understanding 21st century skills life skills online designing assignments and assessments importance of value education empowering your team gender sensitivity remodeled assessment structure career guidance enhancing life skills decision making life skills enhancing empathy integration of arts in psychology enhancing life skills effective communication enhancing life skills empathy challenges before schools post covid world multiple intelligence learning style know your classroom management style classroom management art integration into the core curriculum stress management inclusive education stress activity based learning for pre primary children the kids of kindergarten enjoy the play way fun filled activity based learning which was done online this year and all the activities were done with the same enthusiasm we celebrated various special days like color day fruits day vegetables day plants day janmashtami celebrations fancy dress show ganesha making activity rakhi making activities fruits day and vegetables day to create awareness in children about the environment and our traditions and culture teachers are also learners our teachers constantly strive to stay updated by attending workshops and various training programs they found innovative ways of engaging students and made learning more fruitful in online mode assessment of learning in online class experiential learning in online sessions training on augmented reality interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approach in social science teachers of unison school attended a workshop conducted by cbsc on the topic decision making in everyday life and they participated in a webinar conducted by nie times of india on the topic adapting to the new normal in a post covid world some of our teachers did action research under the mentor mrs geeta joyce ramya madam did action research with class 2 it was to develop lsrw skills listening speaking reading and writing do and see treasure hunt and many more activities were done to improve the skills Shri Lalita Madam did action research to inculcate etiquettes in the students. For this, a survey was conducted and challenges were known, and then the work was done on those by conducting activities. Hima Bala Madam did action research in class four to develop map skills in the students. Many websites, quiz games, and interactive worksheets were used, which helped the students to develop their map skills. Shivaranjani madam did action research on tools to make studying math online interesting and useful in grades 8 and 9 such as GeoGebra, OpenBoard, Desmos and many more. Aruna madam did action research on developing article writing skills in grade 8 and 9 students. first the problems were identified then task based activities were done language teachers attended workshop by madhuban in hindi innovative activities like nana lekhan were done 
there are still many workshops and webinars which were attended by the teachers which helped them to use various tools and techniques to make online classes interactive and interesting and to maintain quality education even in online teaching. Workshops for students. Many workshops were conducted for students. For class 6, two workshops were conducted. English writing and memory skills. Writing equips us with communication and thinking skills. For classes 7 and 8, two workshops were conducted. Managing finances and awakened citizenship program. Students need to be well informed about finances and awakened citizenship program as it will have an impact on future life and personal well-being. For class 9, career counseling and memory skill workshops were conducted. Career counseling ensures right kind of help at right time so they can take well-informed decisions and end up taking right careers. For class 10, two workshops were conducted. Career counseling and developing a balanced emotional quotient. Balanced emotional quotient allows students to better cope and manage stress. Thus, all the workshops were conducted keeping the above outcomes in mind so that their overall development happens apart from the academics. Students as catalysts of change in society. Seva project by classes 9 and 10. Unison School marked its Independence Day celebrations by conducting a webinar for Seva which went live. The students of classes 9 and 10 had taken the initiative to conduct this awareness program. Seva means social empowerment through work education and action. The main intent of this program is to encourage children to become socially responsible citizens. Class Magazine To enhance the writing skills and communication, every month one class brings out a four-page magazine which is circulated to all. We publish newsletter per term which gives information about all the activities and events which have taken place during that term. Parent orientation program were conducted for parents of pre-primary, classes 1 and 2, classes 3 to 5, classes 6, 7 and 8, and finally for classes 9 and 10 in separate batches. Parent-teacher meetings are conducted online. We cherish parents' cooperation and their constructive suggestions in our endeavor of imparting quality education. So events and celebrations. Fit India movement was conducted at UNICET. International Yoga Day and Telangana Ko Harita Haram were celebrated. As part of Harita Haram scheme, we had a highly informative 60s virtual environmental awareness program presented and organized by Mahavir Harina Banastali National Park. Unison School conducted the investiture ceremony virtually on 28th June 2020, investing formally the responsibilities to the newly elected prefects. Doing all the events virtually was a different experience for all. Unison School had organized a reading week from 19th June to 27th June 2020 to strive for the enhancement of vocabulary, comprehension skills in students and to accentuate the significance of books in their lives. Regular assemblies, assembly presentations and special assemblies were conducted online to make them acquainted with the present times and to teach them standard operating procedures to be followed and to teach them values, ethics and teamwork. Independence Day, Teachers Day, Raki, Hindi Divas, Ganesh Chaturthi, World Nature Conservation Day, World Environment Day, Father's Day, Dashera, Raksha Bandhan, Guru Purnima, Ramzan were celebrated. Social service done by the school. Joy of Giving Week was celebrated where students help the underprivileged by sharing different things, articles and commodities. With all the above activities, the students of UNICENT are given large number of opportunities which will help them to explore the world around them, become independent and have confidence in themselves, which is the essence of UNICENT's philosophy. 
best times in life are when you have worked hard for something and you are able to achieve it unison school has instituted prizes to be given every year for students passing all india secondary school examination with flying colors our students ms shrichita ms pujita and ms satvika were presented a token of appreciation for proficiency in academics in the form of a memento certificate and cash prize we congratulate the toppers and their parents for their hard work and dedication Greetings from Unison School, Nagpur. As the first item today on the agenda, we the little ones are very proud to bring it to you in such different circumstances. Education is the most powerful weapon which can be used to change the world. The present generation is power based. to meet the needs of the generation education system has undergone a lot of changes theory is best with the help of hands on activities we learn by doing we learn better when we experience we build our own castle with creativity and imagination this song will motivate us to explore आठ समंदर अब नाम पर खोज ले अब तू अपने दम पर भूख मार के धूल झाड़ ले छोड़ झाड़ के सारे छप्पर आठ समंदर अब नाम पर खोज ले अब तू अपने दम पर भूख मार के धूल झाड़ ले छोड़ झाड़ के सारे छप्पर खोल दे पर खोल दे पर खोल दे पर
Hello everyone. It is well and exercise is a way to stay healthy. We, the students of class 1A, are here to share with you all the secret of staying healthy. For every cry, there is a hug. For every tickle, a laugh. For every song, there's a dance. So just shake it till you make it. The science is a bit boring, but the smile is exciting. So let's shake our legs and be healthy.
everyone. We the students of class 1B are here to take you to the Sharky family of veggies. They add color and texture to brighten any plate. Are you ready to join us? Before that, I am going to ask you some results. First one, what, what kind of room has no windows and doors? Yes, it's mushroom. Second one. Potato, slice, slice, potato Mash, potato, mash, mash, potato Mash, 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 potato Form the onion, form, form the onion Dice the onion, dice, dice the onion ah. Cry from the onion, cry, cry from the onion Cry, cry, cry yeah. <laughs> Oh, bananas Go, bananas
গিরি কান্তার মরু দুস্তর পারাবার হে লঙ্কিতে হবে রাত্রি নিশিতে যাত্রীরা হুশিয়া দুর্গম গিরি কান্তার মরু দুস্তর পারাবার হে লঙ্কিতে হবে রাত্রি নিশিতে যাত্রীরা হুশিয়া ছে তরি ফুলিতেছে জল ফুলিতেছে মাঝি পিড়ি আছে বালকে ধরি বিহার আছে কারে জিম্ম ছে তরি ফুলিতেছে জল ফুলিতেছে মাঝি পিড়ি আছে বালকে ধরি বিহার আছে কারে জিম্ম কে আছো জোয়ান জোয়ান আঁকিছে ভবিষ্যৎ যদি কেউ কথা না হয় তোরে কেউ কথা না হয় যদি সবাই থাকে মুক্তিরায় সবাই করে ভয় যদি সবাই থাকে মুক্তিরায় সবাই করে ভয় তবে করাম ফুলে ও তুই মুখ ফুটে তোর মনে কথা একলা বড়ে ও তুই মুখ ফুটে তোর মনে কথা একলা বড়ে যদি তোর ডাক শুনে কেউ
From class 3A. We, the students of class 3A, will demonstrate yoga asanas. Let me brief you on why did we choose to do asanas rather than a dance or any other performance. The impact of corona and the fear of getting infection has stopped us from going to school. We had such fun playing in the class and on the grounds. Virtual classes have become a part of our daily routine. We have to sit in front of a computer screen for quite some time. Our breakfast, lunch, and dinner may not be the healthiest every day. We see it in the form of stress, fatigue and other disorders. Sometimes we fall sick also. One of the main principles of our school is holistic development of children. We are also taught yoga which is embedded in our schedule. Yoga helps in controlling an individual's mind, body and soul. It brings together physical and mental disciplines to achieve harmony between the body and mind. It helps manage stress and anxiety and keeps us relaxed. Also helps in increasing flexibility, muscles, strength and body tone. Stay relaxed to learn a few important points, few important asanas for general health from our demonstration.
Good evening to one and all. On behalf of Class 3B, I, Akanksha, welcome all the esteemed guests, parents, teachers, and my dear friends to a virtual annual day function. I never imagined that we could have an annual day like this. Did you? It was fun practicing, recording, and re recording. But still, being with school was better. We are just waiting to go to school. We have brought you a beautiful song from the Karate Tales with the entire forest and forest animals dancing in front of you to show their love, joy, empathy, greed, anger, pain, anxiety, confusion, relief and all such mixed emotions during this tough times. It also talks about adventures. What an adventure COVID-19 has been. Wonder whether I will remember when I grow up. We humans have types of emotions in us. Some high, some low, some happy and some sad. Some welcoming and some alarming. But no matter what the situations are, we always have a good fighting spirit to bounce back from the odds. I'm sure you enjoy our performance and start dancing with us at your homes. Thank you. the bear. Stories and adventures with you I will share. Welcome to my jungle, the stories I will share of antelopes and alligators, jackals here and there. Na 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 Fierce and strong, crows and owls and other birds, reptiles short and long. I'll tell you about enemies of greed and jealousy. I'll tell you about friendship, love and harmony. I'll tell you about monkeys, lions fierce and strong, crows and owls and other birds, reptiles short and long. I'll tell you about enemies of greed and jealousy. I'll tell you about friendship. Love and harmony. Na 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 na. From all these tales we'll discover through all our jungle friends the wit and ageless wisdom, the advice that they lend. Na 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 na
Welcome to my jungle, the stories I will share Of antelopes and alligators, jackals here and there Na 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 A warm welcome to you all for the virtual annual day of Unison School. I am Ram from Class 3C. Before the act starts, I just want to tell a few lines about our famous and great personalities whose stories inspire our day-to-day -day life. Among them, few personalities were torch bearers for the new paths, whereas few struggled for the freedom of our country like Bhagat Singh, Mahatma Gandhi, Rani Lakshmi Bai, and many more. Their stories are always inspiring and motivates our little minds to achieve dreams in our respective lives. Here are my friends coming forward to portray the roles of great personalities. So without a minute delay, let's begin the dance performance. Thank you. ఎవరేమి అనుకున్నాను ఉండే రాజాన రాజును విమంటును విమంత్రిను వి సైన్యను విచ్చేమైనా ఏదైనా నువ్వు వెళ్ళే బడిలో నా పలకాను వి పలపను వి ప్రశ్నను వి బదులు నువ్వు అన్ని నువ్వే కావాలి తను నిత్యం పోరాడాలి అనుకున్నది సాధించాలి ఎవరేమి అనుకున్నాను ఉండే రాజాన రాజును విమంటును విమంత్రిను వి సైన్యను ఏమైనా ఏదైనా నువ్వు వెళ్ళే బడిలో నా పలకాను వి పలపను వి ప్రశ్నను వి బదులు నువ్వి సందేశాలు చిట్కారాలే సత్కారాలు అనుకోవాలి అడుగేయాలి ముళ్ళ మార్గాన్ని అన్వేషించాలి అలుపొస్తుందా కలలేకన్నా పూల స్వర్గాన్ని అధిరోహించాలి ఎవరికి వాడే లోకల్లో ఎవరికి పట్టని శోకల్లో సాగాలి ఎవరేమి అనుకున్నాను ఉండే రాజాన రాజును విమంటును విమంత్రిను వి సైన్యను విచ్చేమైనా ఏదైనా నువ్వు వెళ్ళే బడిలో నా పలకాను వి పలపన్ను వి ప్రశ్నాను వి బదులు నువ్వి బలము నువ్వే బలగం నువ్వే ఆట నీదే గెలుపు నీదే 
Hello everyone, my name is Krishika and I am from class 4B. There is nothing permanent in life except change, said philosopher Heraclitus. Change is the spice of life. Change is in the very nature of being. Days are not the same always. It is not the way today as it was few months back. But we have learned to change. We have learned to survive with the new normal and it was important to be the change. Let us lead the way and do what's right. Together we can make the future bright. So let us all make a difference and we always say clearly that I am going to be the change. So here we are, Class 4B, presenting the song Be the Change. Thank you. There will always be a reason why It seems so difficult to even try The world is changing every day Can we make sure that we have our say? We are the future of this earth We need to treasure it to know it's worth Let's be the one so really care Let's make the world a place that's kind and fair Together we can make the future bright. I wanna be be the change, change, be the change, change. was an amazing and mind-blowing performance by a munchkins of grade 3 and 4. Super little performance, my dear friends. Our life is full of challenges. Resilience is the attitude that enables us to turn over turbulent times. How apt the theme of this evening is. It boosts our spirit to adapt and fight back. Respected parents and distinguished guests of this evening, how are the proceedings of the show going on? Hope you are enjoying the evening. As we continue with the programs of this thrilling evening, you are going to watch yet another amazing segment where our young buddies are coming up with solutions for every problem and illuminate our thoughts that we should approach a problem with grit and strength. Okay. Tag along with us, dear audience, to enjoy the penalty made segment of this evening celebrations. Here is another interesting fact for you, which all of you would like to know. Mask is a fabric vaccine to us. We cannot ignore the contribution made by mask in stopping the spread of COVID-19. So I hope you all are wearing mask when you go out for your errands. So, by this, I, Vaishnavi, take leave of you and let you enjoy more exciting programs coming on your way. Good evening. 
Resilience refers to how well you can deal with difficulties of life and bounce back from them. It can mean the difference between handling pressure and losing your cool. Having confidence in your own ability to cope with the stress of life can play an important part. Adaptability and flexibility is an essential part of resilience. By learning how to be more adaptable, you will be better equipped to respond when faced with a life crisis. We also need to learn the difference between being adaptable and flexible. Here is a skit presented by Class 4C on Tough Times Never Last, but Tough People Do. Let us see how a young girl deals with her problems and difficulties in her life and wants to become like a coffee bean. Why did I say coffee bean? Let us watch the clip. And a cat ate an egg or a coffee bean.
unique as it came to the boiling water it gave its and changed the water and gave its incredible aroma what are you how how do you respond in difficult situations are you a carrot an egg or a coffee bean hi i'm a carrot how does the beginning and become soft in the difficult situations hi i'm an egg hi i am a coffee bean i stay strong even in difficult situations and not lose myself but change my situation life is full of ups and downs but the only thing that truly matters is how we react how we react situations around us and what we make out of it life is all about learning adapting and converting all struggles into something positive here i'll show you a video on a person who was born without limbs yet he is very successful in his life I just love life. I love life. You know, so many people come and say, "How come you smile so much?" And I'm like, "Well, it's 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 a long story." <laughs> She was busy. Hello, we are doing good. How are you? What are you doing? We two are little stressed with our work and unable to manage all the work. What are you doing? Can you share the video with us? She shares the video with her friends. Both the brothers sit and watch the video shared by their friend. Is is a dream of mine. I really just want to uh, put limits aside and live life to the fullest. Just just going for it. To overcome an obstacle, you have to realize where you are um, and and to visualize yourself overcoming these obstacles. To focus on the positive things that we do have, using everything that we have to the best of our ability. Many people look at me and say, "Nick, how come you're smiling? How come you're so happy? And I want to be like you." And I don't mean like you know I want to be like you in a prideful way, but they see the strength in me. You look at me and you want the confidence that I have. When it rains, it pours. Maybe the art of life is to convert tough times to great experiences. We can choose to hate the rain or dance in it. Now let us see a dance performance by Class Four C students. Thank you. I know there's gotta be rain if I want the rainbows. What are you? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Mother, I want to be like a coffee bean because I want to be strong in any situations and do not want to change under any circumstances. नमस्कार मेरा नाम श्रीकर है कोई भी समस्या बड़ी नहीं होती हर समस्या का समाधान होता है ऊपर वाला जब समस्या देता है उसके समाधान भी साथ ही देता है हमको ऐसे एक मित्र चाहिए कि जब हमें समस्या में है तो हमको एक सही रास्ता दिखाएंगे हमारे पास मित्र ना हो तो हमें खुद की समझदारी को इस्तेमाल करने की आदत डालनी चाहिए इससे बुद्धि का भी विकास होता है आज हम पांचवी कक्षा के चार आपके सामने अकबर और बीरबल का ऐसी एक कहानी को नाटक के रूप में प्रस्तुत करने जा रहे हैं कहते हैं कि लहरों से डरकर नौका पार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती जय हिंद जय भारत 
जहा पाना की जय हो महाराज अकबर पदा रही है इस बार बारिश अच्छी होने की वजह से फसल अच्छी हुई है इसलिए प्रजा भी खुशहाल है महाराज अरे वाह बहुत खूब इस खुशी में नर्तकी को पेश किया जाए जहा पना की जय हो जहा पना की जय हो क्या हुआ महाराज मैं एक सोने चांदी का व्यापारी हूँ मैं आपके राज्य में निवास करता हूँ मेरे घर में मेरी पत्नी के अलावा पांच नौकर रहते हैं उनके नाम है रामू श्यामू अली चंदू और भोला कल मेरे घर से बहुत सारा सोना चांदी गायब हो गया है अगर मैं किसी एक नौकर का नाम लेता हूँ तो पांचों नौकर घर से निकल बाहर चले जाएंगे इसलिए आप आप असली चोर का पता लगवाइए और उसे सजा दिलवाइए महाराज उसमें मेरे मायके से मेरी माँ के द्वारा दिए गए कुछ गहने भी थे यह मामला हम तुम्हें सौंपते हैं जो आज्ञा हुजूर श्रीमान कल आप अपने पांच नौकरों को दरबार में लेकर आइएगा जी हुजूर व्यापारी और उसके नौकरों को पेश किया जाए जी हुजूर यह रहे मेरे पांच नौकर इनमें से चोर कौन है इसका फैसला तो मेरी जादुई छड़िया ही कर देंगी आप सभी एक एक चोरी लेकर जाओ और रात के सोते समय अपने पास लेकर सो जाना जो भी चोर होगा उसकी छड़ी चार इंच अपने आप बढ़ जाएगी आज की सभा यही समाप्त की जाए महारानी आपको क्या लगता है बीरबल इस समस्या को हल कर पाएगा जहाँ पना क्यों नहीं बीरबल बहुत ही समझदार और नेक इंसान है उन्होंने पहले भी तो कितनी समस्या सुलझाई है फिर आप अभी क्यों शिका हो रही है आप चांद से सो जाइए और कल देखते हैं बीरबल कैसा इंसान करते हैं। हम्म आपकी बात तो सही है शुभ रात्रि शुभ रात्रि मेरा नाम भोला हो सकते है परंतु मुझे चाला कोई नहीं ये छड़ी मुझे पकड़वाएगी मैं अभी इसे चार इंच काट देता हूँ ताकि अगर बढ़ेगी तो बीरबल को पता नहीं चलेगा
जहा पना की जय हो महाराज अकबर पदा नहीं है सभी अपनी अपनी छड़िया लाइए जी हुजूर ये लीजिए आप जा सकते हैं जी महाराज लीजिए आप जा सकते हैं जी हुजूर लीजिए आप जा सकते हैं जी हुजूर लीजिए आप जा सकते हैं जी हुजूर लीजिए महोदय सोना चांदी कहां पर छुपा के रखा है जी 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 आप ऐसा क्यों बोल रहे हैं मेरा छड़ी तो वैसा ही है बीरबल यह क्या है हमें कुछ समझ नहीं आया महाराज असली चोर तो भोला ही है यह कोई जादुई छड़ी नहीं है यह तो हमारे बगीचे की साधारण चिड़िया है पकड़े जाने के डर से भोला ने इसे चार इंच काट दिया था देखिए महाराज ये सबसे छोटी है मुझे माफ कर दीजिए हुजूर। मुझे लाल छो गया था मैं आगे से ऐसा नहीं करूंगा मैं सारा सोना चांदी लौटा दूंगा वाह बीरबल वाह मान गए तुम्हें हर समस्या का हल बीरबल महाराज अकबर की जय हो राजा बीरबल की जय राजा बीरबल की जय राजा बीरबल की जय अंदर की नमस्कार ना पेर मनस्विनी समस्यालने मनुष्य के सृष्टि प्रती जीवी की वारी वारी स्थाई की तगट वस्तूने अच्छे प्रती समस्या मन देह बल तो मत पुकूम को समस्या को बुद्धि बल एवसर निजा की बुद्धि बल उल लेको चाल वरक मन समस्या पच्चु अलासारी कृंदे वारी एर समस्या बुद्धि बल तो यह विधा एना प्रदर्शन द्वारा मन तुंदा भयपड़ी परगुलाई महाराजा पैकी दाड़ चेयट तो मन कुंदे काल कड़ चली मरको कुंदे नोया 
ఈ బలవంతులైన ఏనుగులు ఎదిరించాలంటే మనం బుద్ధి బలం వాడాలి
All those little buddies, teachers, parents and the guests of this evening for taking your valuable time out to watch the annual day celebrations of Unison School Nagur, which stands high for its unique features. We thank all the audience profusely for being with us today and energizing us with your very presence. Time to say sayonara. So long dear audience. I request all of you to stay for vote of thanks and the national anthem. Good evening one and all present over here. I, Mrs. Himabala, on behalf of Unison family, it is my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks to this, to this virtual gathering. I would like to thank our beloved principal, Mrs. Rachana Bhattacharji, who had been our pillar and inspiration. My wholehearted gratitude to the management, staff and non-teaching staff for making this virtual event memorable and a grand success. Thank you dear all parents for extending your valuable support to your wards and spending your valuable time. I extend my special thanks to the editing team for taking all the challenges and giving a good outcome of it. Thank you for being part of the team. Without your cooperation and dedication towards the work, we couldn't have been pulled out the work together. I congratulate all the participants for an attractive and captivating performance. Thank you. <laughs> 